Okay. I said I wanted to do this so that I could be transparent with all my stuff. Well, this is one of those that uh not real happy with myself with right now. I had an interesting day. I've tried to keep all my emotions intact. Just, you know, the day of running a business, stuff going crazy, super busy, raining outside. Customers are happy, so I'm cool with that. But um, just the day-to-day -day of trying to make sure everything is okay, I just had a very interesting day. So I would say mentally, just really trying to keep everything smooth and chill, just trying to stay focused and, you know, just, you know, be calm and lead and not go crazy and stuff. You know what I did? I said, I just hit a breaking point about five o'clock and I went to Blaze. But I've been proud of myself about my little food thing. So Blaze Pizza is a pizza place. But you know what they had? They had a keto pizza there. So that got the vegan, the, the keto crust. I mean, uh, gluten, less gluten or whatever, ate it with veggies on top. You know, no meat, no nothing. Vegan cheese, you know, did my thing. And then I come home and I'm still frustrated. And it didn't hit me until a few minutes ago. I want to emotionally eat. Because whenever I'm upset, which I didn't think I was upset because I'm thinking, no, I'm just, I'm handling things. I'm being a good girl. I'm just going to focus, you know, and just redirect my energies. Well, let me tell you what's going on right now. I'm going to show you what's flipping going on right in my house. I threw out all the stuff that I would like to eat whenever I'm having a moment like this. So you know what I've got right here? Yeah, I've got mixed nuts. You know what I've got right here? I've got these things, which... If you're having a sugar attack and you're like wanting to eat something bad, this does not work. You know what else I got? I got Think Chunky Peanut Butter Bars. I got Mixed Granola. I got Oatmeal. I've got, those sneakers don't belong to me, so I'm not even messing with that because I, I don't even like them like that. I got tea. I got beans. I've got salsa. I've got dried mango. And you know what? None of this stuff, none of it. Cut through all the crazy sugar out. Those Snickers belongs to my kids, and I don't even like them like that. I threw all my sugar and stuff out. Brought healthy snacks into the house. And now I'm mad. You know why? Because I can't have a sugar attack that way I want to. Nobody else is in the house. My daughter's back there asleep. My husband's going to get dinner. Or not going to get dinner. Going to get my daughter. And you know what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to sneak something that would be satiating. I don't know, like a brownie, some ice cream. Oh, no, no, let me get you. Let me tell you what just happened. I did find some ice cream. You know what kind of ice cream it was? It was vegan ice cream. And it was like this much of it left. You know why? Because my daughter's been eating it. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to eat this vegan ice cream and I'm going to get my my sweet tooth on and I'm going to kill this, this irritation I've got. Nope, didn't do it. Didn't do it. It was like this much. And I even tried, I added like coconut it was already coconut ice cream, but I wanted to make it creamier because it wasn't creamy, creamy like real ice cream would be where it would just satisfy me and make me feel good. Even though I had a crazy day, it didn't fix it. It didn't do it. So you know what I did? I said, you know what? Fine. I got all this healthy stuff in there. Something, something in this healthy stuff is going to make me feel better. So you know what I did? Took an apple, cut a piece of apple. Guess what? Not sweet enough. So you know what I did? Look what I did. Because I'm craving carbs right now. You know what I did? I put some seeds and some granola, some gluten-free granola. I think there's some mixture of gluten-free and regular granola. Cut some apples up and have that as my snack. I don't even want it. Because you know what? I know it's not going to be sweet enough. So, I am mad right now because I threw all my really sweet, sweet stuff away. Or I just didn't buy any more of it. And I can't have a sugar attack the way I want. Because it ain't in the house. Because you know what? If there were some cupcakes in this house... Vanilla cupcakes with some vanilla icing or some Swiss almond, vanilla Swiss almond haagen in this house, I would eat it. If there were some chocolate covered strawberries in here, I would eat it. If there was some Twix, I would eat it. Only Snickers. Snickers is all right. I got nothing against Snickers, but it won't really, it just won't do it. It just, just won't do it. So, yeah, I'm mad right now because I have sabotaged my own snacking. I wanted to come in here and sneak a really bad snack, but as you guys can see, look at this. Look at this. This these are my snacks. Gonna be funny. This is not snack food. None of this. This this does not do it. If you're having a bad day and you want to come in here and get crazy in the 
and the snacks, this is what we're dealing with. Seeds, pumpkin seeds, unsalted nuts. Who wants to snack on dried cranberries? That's not gonna do it for me either. None of this is gonna do it for me. None of this. Organic matcha, none of this is gonna do it for me. So you know what? It's gonna chill out. You guys are seeing day 309 or 310 or whatever day this is. Had a rough day, but I kept it together. And then I came home and I wanted to take it out on my belly and eat a bunch of bad food. But you know what? There's no bad food in my house for me to eat. So, guess I'm gonna eat this granola with the seeds and the apples. Put these stupid dried cranberries in it. And that's gonna be my snack. I still ate too much because I ate the Blaze pizza. And that's probably not good. That's a bunch of carbs right there. Even though it was the low carb keto one. But still, that's a lot of food. But I ate it like three hours ago trying to kill this kind of irritation. And actually what I could do is meditate. And But hey, what I want to do? I want to eat. Because when I get upset, even though I've helped it to get, held it together, everything is smooth. I'm going to lean. I'm going to focus. I'm going to get things together. Yeah, I tried that today. I did it. I did it all the way up to about 5 or 6 o'clock. And then I broke down. And got a pizza. But I got a veggie pizza. And I didn't kill it because guess what? It wasn't sweet enough. I wanted something sugary. Didn't have it. So, yeah. So I'm gonna settle on some cashews, granola, seeds, and apples. Okay. Day 309, 310, whatever the heck this is. So. I would have even did a Klondike bar. And I'm not even dairy right now, but today I, I would have eaten anything dairy and gluten today because that would have made me feel good. But you know what? It wouldn't be in alignment with my goals. And even though I've eaten too much today, this evening, especially considering I'm doing my intermittent fast and I'd already had my meal today, so ate too much. But you know what? I didn't eat a bunch of junk because there was no junk food to be eaten. But I still ate too much. So, But at least I won't go to feel bed feeling bloated. Which if I would have ate a lot of dairy and gluten, I would have went to bed feeling gloated. So, bloated. Yeah. Bloated, gloated. I don't know. Bloated. Yeah. Y'all have a good one. Stay on your journey. Today is not a good example of what it's like to be on your journey. I have clearly failed. But that's okay. I'm going to fail forward. All right. Bye-bye.